The weird case of the fossil Pokemon Dragapult. I love fossil Pokemon, as you may be able to tell from my name, but Dragapult has always been a strange one to me. I mean, does it even count as a fossil Pokemon? We know it came from a fossil, being resurrected as a ghost, but since then it has adapted a lot to the ecosystem it now resides in. Regardless, this little dragon can still tell us a lot about the time it originally came from. For example, young Dreepy are often found floating around the shore. This behavior seems to serve no purpose, and as such it has been interpreted to be a vestigial trait, Dreepy patrolling its ancestor's hunting ground. From this we can determine that Pokemon colonized land very early, even if it was just beaches at first. The most famous behavior of the Dreepy line, however, is how Dragapult will shoot Dreepy from its head as an attack. Dreepy seemingly enjoys this, and they will choose the strongest Dragapult in the area to join up with. This is a fascinating behavior and gives us an important clue as to the evolution of one of the most important common traits among modern Pokemon, parental care. Almost all modern Pokemon in some way take care of their young, even if it's just in the form of making sure their eggs actually hatch. As it is widespread, we can assume it's a behavior that evolved early on in the history of life, and Dragapult gives us an idea as to how this came about. Initially, it seems these Pokémon simply stuck together in a family unit for the purpose of hunting. Dreepy staying with their parent would ensure all of them could get more food. But if a Dreepy got hurt during the hunt, it would be in the Dragapult's best interest to nurture it back to health, as without it, hunting would be less efficient. This then slowly evolved into the behavior we now know as parental care. And it even helps Dragapult fit into the modern world, as it's one of the few Dragon types that makes for a caring and docile family Pokémon. Of course, Dragapult is by no means confirmed to be the source of this ancient trait, but it still gives us a clue as to how these kinds of behaviors can arise from different adaptations.